I fight to to get my voice heard. I've been doing martial arts since 2012. I was working at a grocery store for 13 years and I wasn't feeling fulfilled at the grocery store, you know, working in day in, day out. And I decided to do something different. I went to school to study to be a personal trainer and I was really loving that. I didn't finish that, but I started going to um, a gym in Amarillo, Texas and fell in love with Muay Thai and started training. And I trained every single day and I was always asking my coach, what can I do to improve myself? And he was just saying, you know, just work on your jab, work on your cross, work on your teeth. And I would just spend hours and hours in front of the bag just doing that. Had my headphones in and just working on that technique and saying, no to myself, just keep going. And you're gonna get it, it's gonna click. It's a judgment-free zone. That's what I really tried to bring to the table. And that's why you see me in class a lot. Sometimes I'm just dancing around, just acting crazy because I want everybody just to loosen up and be themselves because we are so conditioned to like hold our our fun side in and have to be like always serious and I don't think that's that's the case. You shouldn't have to do that. You just be be yourself. Be a little kid. And you gotta ask yourself at the end of the day, did I do everything I could in this 20, 24 hours to be the best person I could be? And if the answer is no, then that means you need to change it. Everybody needs an influence in their life. And I feel like I can be that influence for a majority of the people and I can, I can talk to them. Cause I'm pretty sure there's something that you're going through, I probably experienced it. And somebody else probably experienced it. I feel like I'm the, the voice that can um, reach out to everybody. So that's why I just give so many different positive pep talks at the end. I think we can change the world if we just have that positive impact on people instead of having the negative impact on people. One thing that I have been working on is just trying to be a better person overall. All right, I have read, had an incident that happened last night. Um, I was driving back to the gym and this gentleman was crossing the street. He had a, a stop sign or he had the hand on the light and I had a flashlight. So I turned. As I turned, I seen him come and I snapped on my brakes and he called me a racial slur. And, and it kind of bothered me a little bit, but I had become a better person because I just didn't react to what he said. It's not worth my time to sit there and shoot to his level, okay? Um, they didn't call me a racial slur, I don't care. Because that means that you're not confident in yourself to be a better person, okay? So be conscious what you say to other people, all right? And always try to be a better person, right? Because that's that one thing may affect that person, whatever it may be, okay? So just try to be a better person each and every day. Try to be the person that uh, can change the world.